Well, now that the Tournament of Champions is over, it's time to build the field for the next one. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. Candidate number one is Laura, who has one win under her belt, and she's in the lead again tonight with 13,200. Matt in second place. I was really hoping he would go for the Roger Craig back-to-back -back true daily doubles. Unfortunately, he went for just 2,000, and he would be in the lead by 400, I think, all other things considered. He's got 9,200 here. Colin still in it with 5,400. You'll see that Matt trails Laura by 4,000, and Colin trails Matt by 3,800. So Matt is in Stratton's dilemma, and we will see. Uh, we'll start here. God, I haven't had to do math in a while, huh? So we've had what, four lock games to end last week. 18-4, 5,200 for Laura. Uh, if she's wrong with that, she's going to be left at 8,000. So Colin must wager everything, or at least 2,600. And Matt would have to stay at 1,200 tops. But as I mentioned, he's in Stratton still, unless it means he's got to wager more than that to cover Colin. Colin doubles up, 10-8, that's 1,600 for Matt. So... I would suggest he wager everything. No real mind games here. And uh, everything went as it should have. Matt and Colin both held back a little bit, but it doesn't bother me all that much. Laura going for the bare minimum. And uh, she has now won two games. So tomorrow, if she wins again, she'll be our first member of the TOC leaderboard. I'm looking forward to it. Maybe uh, we'll have a big run to start this new qualification period, unlike last time when we had to wait forever for uh, Vaughn Winchell to come along and give us our first five-timer, something like, what was it, 80-something, 90-something days after Julia Collins ended her run? We shall see. I hope you have a, a great evening. It's the first cold day uh, this season in New York, and so I'm wearing a sweater. That's my explanation. We'll see you tomorrow on The Final Wager.